this year we published the massive text embedding benchmarks, um, which is kind of like a follow-up work, but more, you know, more put it a bit more broadly in perspective. So we collected different tasks like where you can use embedding models, uh, you can use them for clustering, you can use them for bytext mining, meaning finding sentence with the same meaning in different languages, you can use them for retrieval, for semantic textual similarity, for summarization, for text classification, for pair classification, and for re-ranking. And so we had, so so this is like a project that started also a really long time ago. So when I published the sentence bird paper, sentence informer papers, it showed good results on STS and CentEval, which was like the de facto standard in embedding evaluation. But if you really use it, it didn't perform that well. And also the original sentence bird model didn't perform that well as universal sentence encoder, even such that the benchmark on STS showed the opposite. And so over the years with different help of different people and so on, uh, I collected first internally like a lot more training data, uh, more, a lot more data sets to evaluate my models on. And then luckily this year we have been able to open source this and run a lot of evaluation on this. And here we tested different models on these 58 data sets. Uh, what you see on the x-axis is the speed, like how quick is the model. On the y-axis, how good is the model? And then the size of the circle is like how big, how, how many output dimensions do you have? And yeah, what you totally see is like some cluster around here where people used like bird-based, like 110 billion parameter models. And then we see like different sizes like the one model on MPNet and GTR, they perform extremely well. Also here some mini LM models work really well. And then at the more left side, we have like these massive 6 billion parameter model that show um, also kind of like a nice improvement. But if you really compare the difference between like this model, so here the center point and the MPNet center point, the difference is not so small. Um, but it's like two, two magnitudes slower than these smaller models. So I always found like this interesting to find like a model that's not only good, but also really fast. So another interesting application we showed this year is few shot learning with embedding models. So GPT-3 popularized few shot learning with prompt and in complex learning. So, so what OpenAI showed in their paper is that if you wanna do sentiment classification, you can create like a prompt like this, describe the sentiment, then you have some in-context examples. I love this place, which you say it's positive. I don't, I don't go here, which is negative. And then you have a new review, great pizza, which you wanna classify. And I was never a fan of prompting and in-context learning because first it has an extremely high sensitivity to the prompt. So here it can make a difference if you put a colon or an exclamation mark or question mark, which can absolutely change the, the performance. And so you never know, do I have to put like a colon or a question mark at the end of this? Do I have to have like a new line or not? Um, also writing the prompt can be challenging for sentiment classification. It's kind of easy, but if you have like more complex nuanced um, task, it can be challenging to, to write the prompt for that. Further challenge is you have limited context length. So the original GPT-3 can do like up to like 2000 word pieces. So if you have like longer examples, like movie reviews, you might can only present like 10 training examples. But what happens when you have like 20 training examples or 100 training examples? There's like no way how you can use these in an in-context learning example. And also you have quite high compute overhead. So the, the encoding um, com time complexity is quadratic with the length uh, of the input. So if you have to provide like all these examples at every call, you have like a lot of compute overhead to it. 